And with the Photoshop CS3 beta, we also have the beta of Bridge 2. I'm sure this could change quite a bit by the time it goes to the final release, but I just want to make you aware of a couple of new features that we have in here. Uh, first of all, you can see it looks a little bit different. We've got this nice gray kind of a look and things look a little bit more slick, a little bit more streamlined. Over here, we've got filtering, so we can sort by different types of uh, filtering here. We could do it by labels and ratings, resolution, size. We've got a lot of different options here. We can go in and, and choose them here. We can simply click on their camera raw and notice that now we only see the camera raw images. Or we could choose the JPEG and we only see the JPEG images. And as you scroll down, you can see a lot of different options here. We could do it by date, orientation, just the landscape, just the portrait, and we can also do it by aspect ratio. So that's a quick way to get around our images. Another thing that's really neat is if we click on an image here, you'll notice under metadata, you're gonna see this nice LCD looking screen. It tells me it was F5.6, shot at 150, and an ISO 100, auto white balance, and it's even showing the metering mode. So this is really neat. It just emulates the LCD display that you would see on your typical camera. Uh, let's have a look at another thing here. Here's an image. We can actually click and drag to just to resize any of these panes. And as we increase this, let's roll over it. Notice we see the little magnifier tool here. If we click with it, what actually opens up is this loop. And then we click again to make it go away. So what we can do is we just click and drag to any portion of the image that we want to look at closer up and that loop will follow it around. So you can get a really close look at your image there. And now if we ever want to go even closer, say for instance we're here in this grill, what we could do is we can hold down the command key on the Mac and it would be control on Windows. And if we hit the plus key, notice we can zoom in even closer or the minus key will zoom us back out again. So let's close that down a little bit. You'll also notice at the bottom here, there's different buttons and we can click on these buttons to look at different types of layouts. We're not going to do this at this time and you'll get a chance to play around with that when you download the beta for yourself. But what I want to show you here is if we select these three images, I'm just going to hold the shift key and it'll select all the adjacent images. And then I'm going to right click and then you're going to notice there's a new thing here called stack, group as stack. When we click on that, what it does is it stacks the images together and we just click on the number there to expand it or click it to contract it. And that tells us that we have three images displaying. Now you may also find that your thumbnails don't look too good when you're working in here. If you right click, then we can choose make high quality thumbnail and that will increase the resolution of the thumbnail and actually toggle it on and off. So that's a pretty useful feature because you may find that all your thumbnails are very, very blurry when you first start. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of Bridge 2 and you can kind of see where things are coming in this release.